Probably Superman. In certain movies, they have him like flying around and like changing the rotation of the planet, so he might be able to help block out some of the carbon. It has to be Storm. I mean, she can control the weather, so I, I think she can actually help control the climate if you really needed her to. Now, are we talking about real world, or are we talking about superhero superheroes? One of the things that superheroes can tell us about the fight against climate change is that it's possible to fight it, that it's possible to take a stand, that it's possible to team up, that you don't have to do it alone. I think it probably would take a team, you know, because it's about influence, getting other people to care with climate change. I think they do a little bit of the talking to the politicians, clearing up oceans, the atmosphere, maybe fixing up the ozone layer. The superhero narrative has had apocalyptic world destruction narratives for a really long time. For a whole generation, that's been nuclear. And so now I think the world apocalypse stories are shifting from the nuclear framework to the climate change framework. This graphic novel is Thor, God of Thunder, The Last Days of Midgard, and it is a story uh, about the Norse God of Thunder, Thor, uh, who encounters uh, a villain in the form of the evil corporation Roxxon, that is a thinly disguised version of Exxon, of course. And so it opens the possibility to say, is Exxon really the enemy, right? Is this the right kind of story to tell? How does this map over into my life? I think climate change is a huge problem. Superheroes would have a huge impact on being able to help teach kids about climate change. UN is being really smart in trying to use a vocabulary that literally millions of people already speak to talk about a common problem. Superhero narratives, they're descendants of mythic narratives that all cultures share. People with amazing powers who go on amazing adventures, right, and save their people and do amazing things. Superheroes always try to do something, and even if they don't succeed completely, right, they're kind of models of agency.